What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultimate Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a preview of an upcoming city of tweak called Snakebite. This is going to be available for 99 cents in the coming days, and basically what this week allows you to do is allows you to switch between the open applications on your device or your favorite applications with a brand new interface, and this is for both 3D Touch and non-3D Touch devices. So let's start off with the 3D Touch method. Basically you just 3D Touch on the left side of your screen as you normally would to get to the app switcher, but basically this tweak has its own app switching method. So this is what the tweak looks like. Basically, as you can see, we see these applications. And again, these are either our favorite applications or our recently opened apps. It's currently set to recently open for me. Basically, you just release your finger on the app you want to open and you're there just like that. So let's just switch to the city app just like that. There you go. So again, just 3D touch and swipe up and down to, to find the application that you want release your finger on it, and you're good to go. So that's how you use this tweak with 3D Touch, and it's just so much better than Apple's default implementation of 3D Touch. Basically, normally, you could 3D Touch on the left side of the screen to get to the app switcher, and you could also swipe between, you know, your two recent opened applications. And if you guys ask me, Apple's implementation for this is just not very good, and this tweak is just so much better. Just this convenient list of just the icons, you know, of each application. You could just release your finger on the app icon of the app that you want to open, and again, it just is so much easier than Apple's implementation. It's just much simpler and less convoluted. And if you guys do want to get to your app switcher from this interface, basically you just open up the last icon down here that will always be present, this little colorful icon, and it will take you to your app switcher just like that. So that's just an easy way to get to the app switcher when you're using this tweak. Now, let's say you want to use this tweak on a non-3D touch device. All you have to do is just double tap on the left side of the screen and swipe over just like this, and there you go. As you can see, the same exact interface pops up, works the exact same way, and again, we just double tap on the left side of the screen and swipe over just like that, and then it works. And by the way, if you guys do have an iPhone 6S, you will get, you know, the haptic engine feedback when you open the tweak, which is very nice. It just feels very native and stock. And it's always nice to have a tweak that feels native. Now, if you guys head over to the settings application and open up the snake by preferences in here, you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak. And then we have the ability to show app labels. And basically, if you toggle this on, it's just going to look like that. As you can see, it's going to label the applications. That's entirely up to you whether you want to use that. I actually do like it on. It's just more clear. Then we have the ability to choose whether we want to use recent apps or favorite apps. So it's been on recent apps this entire time. Let's just change it to favorites and once we change it to favorites we could go down here to the favorite applications section and just you know choose our favorite apps i'm just going to choose app store cydia and contacts so now when i 3d touch over here or double tap and swipe over there you go as you can see it's just going to show those applications and i could choose more let's just say you know find iphone and find friends and again there you go as you can see it's always going to show those no matter what now let's just change it back to recent apps so I can show you guys some of the other settings. So there's the number of apps shown. Basically, if you want to show more apps than the traditional six that it allows by default. So now, as you guys can see, it has much more, you know, applications on the side. I actually prefer this because you could just get access to, you know, a lot more than you were able to before. Just switch to, you know, any application that you want just like that. So that's very convenient. And then you have the blur style. There's a light and a dark mode. It's currently on light. Let's just change it to dark and I'll show you guys now. As you can see, it's just much darker overall um, I prefer light it's just a little bit better for me but again completely up to you but yeah guys it pretty much wraps up this preview so I'm really excited for this tweak I can't wait for it to you know hit the city of store and of course as soon as this tweak is actually released I'll be sure to let you guys know down below in the description I'll also let you know on Twitter and my Facebook fan page so make sure to go follow those places if you guys want to know as soon as this tweak is actually out and I really just enjoy this tweak one of my favorite things about it is the animation it's just when you're switching between your applications it's just the smooth you know fast animation you could just tell a lot of work was put into this. It functions well, it looks good, and it's a much better 3D touch app switcher than Apple, you know, implemented by default. And of course, it's also good on non 3D touch devices as well. I really do like this tweak. Again, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. So make sure to let me know down below in the comments section. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on City of Tweaks, jailbreak coverage, and some iOS coverage as well. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace.